Welcome to the Tracy Johnson Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined with Tracy Johnson, head coach of the women's ice hockey team. And coach, you guys face Lebanon Valley, a, for, a future UCHC opponent, and in a home-and-home home series and take care of business in the first game, 4-1 to one, at their place. Well, we knew going into that game we needed to get a lot of shots, and that's something we certainly did. Um, I think we finished with 86, and, you know, good things happen when you get the puck to the net, and, you know, credit to their goaltender. She's a solid goaltender. We knew that going into it, and we did what we could to, to pepper her with shots. You know, our, our power play was on and, um, you know, found the back of the net. You took 86 shots in the first game, 80, followed up with 84 in the second, and also get the shutout for, uh, well, combined shutout for your goaltenders, too. Talk a little bit about Chelsea Blackburn in this second game, having yet again another high trick. Well, she definitely likes putting the puck in the net, which is, you know, no complaints from us on that. You know, she um, she's one point shy of, of tying the points record for, for the program. And, you know, she's been the goals leader for a while. And that's that's her role in the team. You know, she's a goal scorer. She's a, a natural goal scorer. And um, she likes putting the puck on net as well. So, uh, you know, a fun player to watch. And, you know, we're certainly glad we have her up on offense. It's good to have a goal scorer like Chelsea. But at the same time, you need to have a good goal stopper in Katie DeRosa facing a penalty shot. Talk about how big of a moment that was for momentum in, in getting more goals scored for you. Yeah, she, um, you know, did a solid job back there. Didn't see a ton of shots, but obviously that was an exciting moment for her back in the net. Um, you know, luckily we practice shootouts every week, and so we were just kind of, in my mind, you know, I, I was confident that she was going to keep it out of the net. And, um, you know, she kind of, I could tell by the way she looked approaching that penalty shot that she was going to stop it and so it was an exciting moment um, but I, I definitely knew out of the gate that it was hers. Another exciting moment they also Lebanon Valley had a breakaway chance and your backup goalie gets a huge stop in that that's another momentum builder for you late in the game. Very exciting moment for sure you know she um she is is very hard worker, and so for her to get that opportunity to be in net, you know, number one is is a great thing to see, good opportunity to get her back there. But then, in order, you know, to for her to make that stop, she's got to be focused and dialed in, and you know, it's not easy to to go into a game when you've been cold and sitting on the bench. And uh, just really, really proud of that moment for her to to make the stop on that. And let's talk a little bit about the special team units that you guys have in the first game. You guys don't take a penalty at all. It's only the second time in program history no work needed for the penalty killing unit. Yeah, we we certainly have spent our fair share of time in the box, um, certainly since I started here, but it's been uh, a point of emphasis for us, you know, every single year. We want to stay out of the box. We're a more effective team, five-on-five. Five, um, you know, it, it's more fun to, to be playing five-on-five five hockey or five-on-four, you know, in our favor. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, our, our PK has been doing great things this year, but it's always, you know, a good thing for us if we're staying out of the box completely. And you guys go back out on the road again this weekend. Let's talk a little bit about those games and those matchups that you'll see. We have some big games coming up. You know, Middlebury is was sixth in the country going into break. Um, so, you know, that's it's going to be a, a, a tough game for us. But, you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident if we have the right mindset and go in and we're ready to work that, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a good game for us. And, um, you know, we've played some fast-paced teams, and I think that, that we can handle it just fine. And we just have to make sure that we're doing what we can to prepare this week for that. And then uh, St. A's the next day, same story. They're a very strong team, uh, very fast fast moving team but um you know I'm, I'm excited to see how we how we match up against them well coach we wish you the best of luck and safe travels up north for these uh two games that you got going thanks so much she's tracy johnson i'm joe wamba and this has been the tracy johnson show